Hey there, today I'm going to help you solve this calculus problem. And this is about derivatives. And in physical terms, when we take the time derivative of the position function, it's going to give us the speed. And again, the time derivative of that is going to give us the rate of change, which is going to be acceleration. So here it says, a particle moves along a line so that at time t, which is between 0 and pi, is given by the position s equals negative 4 cosine minus t squared over 2 plus 10. And it's asking for the speed of the particle, or the velocity, when its acceleration is 0. So the first thing we want to do is, like we see here, the second derivative of the position is going to give us acceleration. So we're going to differentiate this. Our constants go away. To zero, sine be, cosine becomes negative sine, and that negative combines with the outside to make a positive four sine. And here, for the power rule, the two drops down to the numerator and cancels out with the two, giving us the velocity equation. And again, with differentiating this, because sine and cosine cycle between each other, positive sine goes to positive cosine, and this t becomes 1. Now we have our acceleration. And it's asking us, what is the speed when the particle's acceleration is 0? So, of course, we're going to set it equal to 0. We're going to add 1 over, and then divide by 4. And then we're going to take the inverse cosine of this, which is going to give us about 1.32. Now, we know the time that the acceleration is 0, but we need to know the speed. So we're going to come over here and use our speed, our velocity equation. So that way, once we plug in, it gives us about 2.55 positive. So it's going the positive direction still. And that's all there is to it. I hope this helps, and thank you very much.